Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One, two, one, two, three. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Good morning, boys and girls. It's me, Miss Celine. Welcome to room 105. It is our greeting time. We have me, Miss Celine, and we have Miss Tayana. We also have eight friends in our class. I'll show you. Amina Iguana. Secret Seal, Sarai Sun, Jacob Jacket, Braylon Broccoli, Marcos Mitten, Chase Chair, and Loyalty Lollipop. And those are all of our eight wonderful friends of room 105. Boys and girls, do you know what day it is today? Today is Wednesday. Miércoles in Spanish. And we are in the month of June. June, Junio, Junio. So today, guys, is Wednesday, which means that yesterday it was Tuesday. And that means that tomorrow it's going to be Thursday. But today is Wednesday. All right, let's see what the weather is. So boys and girls, what do you guys think the weather is today? Do you guys think it's rainy or a lluvia? Or do you guys think it's cloudy or nublado? Hmm. Well, it doesn't look too wet outside. So, I believe it's cloudy. Yeah, I think, I think the sun might come out, but right now it's cloudy. Good job, boys and girls. All right. Now, we are going to do the color of the week. The color of the week is orange. Orange. Or anaranjado in Spanish. Orange. So what do you think you can find in your house that's orange? I know what I can find that's orange in my house. It's right on top of my head. A big orange bow. And I have oranges and they're orange. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can find some orange objects at home. This color, remember, orange, anaranjado. All right, boys and girls. Now, let's move on to the letter of the week. Do you guys remember what last week's letter was? It was G, G for glasses, G, G glasses. So that means that the letter of the week is H. H. The sound that the H makes is H. So this is the capital H, 
and this is the lowercase h, h. And if we turn our card to the other side, there is a horse. You're right, horse. Horse begins with the letter H. Horse. Good job, boys and girls. You guys did such a good job. Now, let's move on to our numbers. Numbers. And first, I'm going to say them in English and then in Spanish. And all you have to do is repeat after me. All right, here we go. One, uno, two, dos, three, tres, four, cuatro, five, cinco, six, seis, seven, Siete, eight, ocho, nine, nueve, ten, diez, ten. Like our ten fingers on our two hands. One, two, ten fingers. All right, boys and girls. Now it is... Time for our read aloud time. And today I'm going to read the book that's called Little Blue Truck. Little Blue Truck by Alice Shirtle. Before I start reading, let's go over the parts of the book. So this is the front of the book. And this is the back of the book. And this right here is the spine of the book. And the spine helps all of the pages stick together just like that. Little Blue Truck. A horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds you've ever heard. Little blue truck came down the road. Beep, said blue to a big green toad. Toad said, crack, and winked an eye when little blue truck went rolling by. Sheep said, bah, cow said, moo. Oink, said a piggy. Beep, said blue. Cluck said a chicken, and her chick said, beep. Ma said a goat. Blue said, beep. Nay, said a horse. Quack, said a duck. Beep, said the friendly little blue truck. Honk, yelled the dumb truck. Coming through. I've big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass a day with every duck along the way. Room went the dump around a curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled the big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. His heavy-duty dump truck tires were sunk down deep in muck and mire. Honk, cried the dump, and he sounded scared, but nobody heard or nobody cared. Then, into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little blue pushed with all his might. Now Blue and the Dump were both stuck tight. Help, 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 cried the little blue truck. Beep, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Everybody heard that. Beep, 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 the cow came running with the pig and the sheep. Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. Goat jumped over the fence, of course. 
The hen came flapping with the chick and the duck, and everybody pushed the little blue truck. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed Blue, who pushed the dump. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load. Then who hopped up but the big green toad? All together, one, two, three, one last push and the trucks were free. Thanks, little brother, said the dump to Blue. You help me and they help you. Now I see a lot depends on a helping hand from a few good friends. Beep, said Blue, who wants a ride? Everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, ba, moo, clack, peep, nay, crap, ma. Beep, beep, beep. The and little blue truck i love that story it's all about helping friends all right boys and girls i hope you guys enjoyed our story time and we'll see you guys later at group time all right bye